Hello there, this is Motor Test of the Week. This week I'm going to be testing this Turner G2836 EDF motor, 3200kV. Um, I've had this motor quite a while. Um, I did get a couple of flights on, on my old Delta Wasp and it was, it was so amazing that um, I thought it was worthy of a better plane but I still haven't stuck it on uh, anything else yet. Um, but I thought I'd do a test on it now. Um, the plane I've got, I'm thinking. Well, I'm thinking of putting it on uh, this plane here. I'm thinking of putting it on, putting it on one of the fast fly cats, which is quite a small plane really for that sort of motor. So it'd be uh, grossly overpowered. But um, I've had one of these for a little while, so I thought I'd uh, stick it on on that plane and see what it see what it went like um, right so yeah this uh, turns you motor uh, let's have a look at the specs um, it says it's for a 70 mil EDF uh, 3 to 5 laid um, this is 650 watts of power um, it does say 3 to 5 S but from what I've seen on reviews and other things uh, do not try it on 5 S it cannot take 5s apparently. Um, don't know why it says 5s on there. Um, 650 watt, 5s. Don't think so. Uh, I've always thought that was a bit of a misprint. Um, it's quite light though, a lot lighter than um, the uh, prop drive motors. Uh, it says it's only 72 grams, so it's got a 3.17 well, 3.17 shaft. Um, but yeah, I'll give it a test stick it on the old thrust stand and see what results we get okay here we are on the thrust stand um, so you know I have modified mine slightly I have converted it to a pusher um, got an X mount on there and a little grub screw stop the thing hold the shaft in uh, the battery I'm first going to test it on is a zippy uh, flight max 2200 milliamp 40c 3 cell uh, the ESC I'm using is one of the simple 60 amp Hobby King ESC's which I have changed to uh, 16 kilohertz um, it's on auto timing but I've changed it to 16 kilohertz the prop I'm using is a TGS 4.5 by 4.5 sport prop and um, so let's give this a run up and uh, just zero the scales there let's see what sort of thrust we get on that well, I mean that was pretty good that was more than I was expecting Forty six amps, five hundred and twenty three watts. So that's pretty good. A tiny bit more. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's give it one more run up. Out more thrust than I was expecting. Gone up a little bit there. All right, let's see what it does on oh, another prop. Okay, top the battery up a bit. Same setup, um, but this is a 4.75 by 4.75 TGS prop. So let's see what we get there. That was less, less thrust on the bigger prop. So the uh, the smaller prop gave more thrust because it's overloading. Oh blimey, 53 amps. Yeah, 
It's amazing because that's the prop I used on the when I ran it on the Dell Wasp. Yeah. So um Yeah, I don't think I'll be going any higher on prop on that. That's about yeah, I think it was best with the four point five by four point five prop. So let's uh give one more test. Okay, so one more test on three cell. Um this is the same size as the other prop. It's a 4.75 by 4.75, but it's a APC prop. So let's see what we get there. <laughs> That's significantly less. Oh, cracks. <laughs> and way more current draw. It was not warm. But that was uh, kind of pathetic there. Ridiculously high current draw and less thrust. Alright, let's see what it does on a four cell. Okay, for an experiment, this first prop I'm going to try on four cell. Is a gem fan, uh, was it carbon reinforced nylon four by 4.5 or 4045? And battery I'm using it is another zippy, um, it's 40C and it's 1800 milliamp, it's about the same size and almost sort of weight as the other one. Uh, for this one, I'm going to put my fiberglass blast shield on. Just in case, because I don't know what this uh, prop is going to be capable of. But let's give this a run. Oh, that was loud. That was pretty good thrust as well. Why is that all? Thirty-six and a half amps, five hundred and sixty-three watts. So that was uh, that's pretty good. Maybe not even warm. Right. So that was pretty amazing. Right. Let's try another prop. Okay. I've switched over to a TGS four point one by four point one prop. Still the same battery, full cell. Let's give this a run. Blimey, that was pretty good. Cool. Oh. It's been out of focus. There we go. Blimey. <laughs> that's, that's gone a bit high. I can't really get in there with the uh, Temperature sensor. Mm, just get 30 degrees. It's not easy to get in there with that. Blimey, that's that's a lot more than I thought that was going to draw. One more test on a 4.5 by 4.5. Okay, another TGS 4.5 by 4.5 on there. This could be a bit crazy. Oh, 
blimey, that was a lot. Seventy one amps. Whoops. Get warm. Blimey, that was a lot. That's over a thousand watts. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll leave it there on that one. Um. Yeah. I think. Uh. What was it? 4.5 by 4.5 performed pretty well on 3 cell might be a bit much on 4 cell strange I've seen people run bigger props than that on 4 cell with these motors um, but I'm not going to push it considering that's nearly 400 watts over spec um, yeah that gem fan prop performed quite well um, but I think the 4.1 by 4.1 might be better Anyway, that was this motor test of the week on the Turnergy 3536 3200 kV EDF motor. It's been a prop. Alright, if you like this video, click like and subscribe, and I'll be trying to bring you one of these motor tests every week. Trying to figure out what's the best combo. And uh, yeah, get different results like that was with the um, 3 cell. Um, some people would think putting a bigger prop on it would be better but as you saw there on the three cell test the uh, the smaller prop the four point four and a half inch propeller uh, gave more thrust than the four and three quarter inch propeller so it's uh, it's handy finding out these little things try and give you the optimum performance and that's what I'm doing here trying to figure out what's the uh, best sort of prop for these motors anyway Cheers then, I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.